Thank you very much. As early as I can remember, I was drawn to the power of a good story. It probably was ingrained in me as I grew up surrounded by my family business, the book business. At home, storytelling was raised to a new level. Dinners were loving, they were entertaining, but for me, they were a bit competitive. It wasn't about who had the best or the worst day. For me, it was about who had the most entertaining way to share it. I began to understand the art of embellishment. <laughs> Storytelling as a vehicle for the power of persuasion. And my love of marketing was born. As much as we're shaped by our families, we're also products of our environment. Those cherished dinner times were followed by prime time, by daytime, I mean, you get it. And storytelling exploded across my television. The comedies, the dramas, and those really good commercials. Everyone knows that the best part of the Super Bowl are the commercials, except my brother who has this thing about football. Each a story presented like an amazing Technicolor gift on Hanukkah. I couldn't wait to dish with my friends about Charlie's Angels, the original version, Seinfeld, and great new Pepsi spots and my understanding of water cooler buzz took hold. This deep-seated passion to share stories with people was and is fueled by the new platforms that we have to communicate. It has shaped who I am and how I've chosen to express myself. I started my career in advertising where I placed mustaches on celebrities in the, in the Got Milk campaign, getting to experience the challenge of brevity in storytelling. Basically, one ha headline and a cast of rotating characters had to, compel, had to communicate a compelling message in 30 seconds or a single page. Now at Bravo, we start our stories on television, we continue them online, we weave them into games, and then we make them live and real at an event. But knowing how to engage our audience is at the core of everything I do and is at the core of marketing. And today, we don't just tell stories to people. We are conversing, we're collaborating with them. And the creative possibilities are endlessly inspiring. Perspective is a critical aspect of storytelling, and it makes itself available to us at different times in life. I thank you for this honor and this chance to appreciate how my roots and my passions have merged to create a life that reflects, reflects me so perfectly. And that's my pearl of wisdom. I encourage each of you to acknowledge the story you were born to tell, identify what it is you're meant to share, respect the people with whom you share, and say it in your own words. And, of course, a little creative embellishment never hurts. <laughs>